Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, and advice. And I am reminded of a very moving story uh, from the Holocaust that was brought down by uh, Harav Tzvi Hirsch Meisels. This was the Weizner Ruv. Um, and he explained that um, the covenant, the contract, if you will, that we have with the Creator is a covenant of fire. And he gets this from an anagram of the words of the word breishis, breishit. Take the, uh, each of the letters and it, and it comes out as an anagram, brit esh, covenant fire. And he explains this by means of a story. At Auschwitz, it was the Jewish uh, festival, the Simchas uh, Torah, the rejoicing in the Torah. And it was on that day that 50 young Ger Hasidim were being marched to the gas chamber. What was their sin? What was their offense? They were Jews. Worse, they were Torah-observant Jews. Even worse, they were Hasidim. These boys were determined not to go to their death quietly. They were going to sing and they were going to dance. And they marched to the gas chambers, singing joyfully. And um, they were defiant in the face of death. They were brave in that sense, that moment of helplessness. They exhibited the Jewish spirit that has maintained them up to that point. They were about to die. And so what happens? They're singing, they're singing, and as they're put into the gas chamber, as they're being ushered in, one of them cries out, Tonight is Simchas Torah. We have no Sefer Torah, we have no Torah scroll with which to dance, but Hashem the Almighty is with us. Let us dance with Him in our last moments. Inside the gas chamber, these 50 young men, some of them were, were just boys, formed a circle and they danced with such passion, with such exuberance. And they sang, Ashreinu matav chalkeinu, umanaim moraleinu, goraleinu. We are fortunate. How good is our portion? How pleasant our lot. The Nazis, the chief executioner in particular, he couldn't stand that these young Hasidim were cheating him and his fellows out of their sadistical fun. Couldn't tolerate the faith and the conviction that was manifested by these young Jews. He wanted to see Jews that were broken, fearful, crying, groveling, begging. To see Jews about to die, joyful, singing, dancing, praising Hashem. They couldn't handle that. So the chief executioner would not grant them their wish. He refused to, uh, to carry out their execution, he took them out, they stayed in Auschwitz, and they didn't die. These 50 Ger Hasidim, um, many of whom lived through the Holocaust to tell this tale, show us the meaning of a Brit Esh, a covenant of fire. This is the passion, this is the dedication that has seen the Jewish people through so much. The fires of the Crusades, the blazing hatred of the Cossacks, the Inquisition, the Nazis. Through it all, we get through with our faith 
and the Creator with our devotion to the Torah. This is what sees us through. And, um, Ashrenu, Matov Helkeinu, how good is our portion. Let us draw, derive some inspiration from these 50 simple Jewish students who were joyful in the face of death, who were brave and strong uh, in their helplessness. Uh, I don't know what we would do in those circumstances, in those horrible, horrible conditions. I would like to think that we would sing and dance in the face of death and deny our haters their moment of pleasure. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.